We're in the final stretches of the COP in Marrakesh. I think it's, it's a couple of hours still waiting, but if you look at the negotiations, what will change, the big things have been decided. So if you look back on this COP, what, what remains? I think on the positive side, a very clear signal. The world is moving ahead and we are not let ourselves stopped by one country, not even by the United States. And this clear message to Trump was given without really mentioning him explicitly, but it was a clear signal. Everyone wants to move ahead. Also the Chinese we talked to today, they very clearly signaled that they will go ahead and they won't slow down because of elections in the United States. So that's the positive side. But now if you then look at the negotiations on the technical details, it was slow and it was tedious. And I think for the coming two years, the progress in the negotiations is going to be slow and we are going to look at those countries who are going to take the lead, who are willing to stay, take a step further, to increase the ambition, because we know it's not moving fast enough, we are not meeting our climate targets, so we need countries with more ambition and 2018 is going to be that new year for ambition. And there, of course, everyone will look at Europe. What are you going to do? And I think for the next two years, that's the battle we are going to have back home in Brussels, but also in the capitals. Raise the ambition of the EU. And the EU could start by the end of November, the 30th of November. They will release their winter package on energy efficiency and renewables. And that's the moment where Europe can take its first step for more ambition.